This game's just trying to ruin me today, isn't it? I've got I have not much use for gold myself, but I'll trade you for food supplies. And short. So I can twelve I can pay twelve food for a helm, shield, or armor. Uh helms are pretty cool, and I don't have one yet. Major scorn. Cooldowns are reduced by ten percent, and damage is also reduced by ten percent. Uh I had damage reduced by 10% doesn't suck completely, but that's a rather underwhelming helm, honestly. Here, have this on the house. The trader hands you an unusual suit of armor, saying, I traded it for a bear skin, but I don't think it was worth it. You put the armor away to be identified later. The coat's token's now yours. So now we have a token for the first time this episode. <laughs> Congratulations. It's, it's, been, it's been almost a half an hour. <laughs> hey, metal ore. I'll go slightly... Take a look. And you take the tro Yeah, okay. Just wanted to double check to make sure that you do t in fact take it when you go there. Um... No, I think it's still time to pass it by. Not much has, ha not much has happened. I don't have a ton of stuff. No, that's not good. Oh, hi, the altar. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I won't at all. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? There are obvious reasons why not, by the way. In case we weren't clear. But not today. Hey, Lizard Eater. Very nice indeed. Time to take 20 damage. This isn't very nice. <laughs> Hello, healer. I'm lacking in funds. It is finally come to Pain. This. I am tired. It has been too long. Oh, how much food does he expect? Life. I have two. Life will not let them Would you be willing to save a few lives again? I want to know what life I'll give food to the priest. A worthy decision. I have Yet, one. I will not go easily. Wait, yeah, I need to give him 20. Damn it, why did I do this again? I fell for it again. Yep. You're welcome, priest. I'm gonna die sooner now. Hey! I know I often ask for blessings and stuff, but seriously, I could really use food. Please. Please. Yay! Oh, that wasn't very good, but it's okay, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is such a roller coaster of food emotions. I should have just stolen. I've already done the whole progress before. But I could have tried stealing and seeing if I get a bunch of food. It's probably two gain cards if you steal. Fuck you. Will this be your last meeting? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm done with you today. Maybe some other day. Don't want to deal with your crap anymore. Desert of the Damned. It has been a long time Open it. Why not? What can go wrong? Most things, really. So this is the cask from earlier. <laughs> you cautiously break open the seal, releasing a burst of stale, dusty air. Suddenly, a scorpion falls out onto your arm. Get two pain cards. It stings you. Yay! That's not so bad. Max health losing... Losing max health sucks, but it was only five. I, I was expecting to lose, like, 30 max health and just really screw me. Should I just embrace the full curse experience? to get loot. This is what? This is floor three already, I want to say? I do need treasure. It's tempting. Also, I'd be lying if I didn't say that being completely smothered in curses is amusing to me. <laughs> oh. What? That's a new one. That's never happened before. It just took my blessings away and nothing happened. Wow. Maybe we won't mess with Cursed Treasure is that, if the outcomes are that variable. I didn't even know that was an option. I thought it was just going to smother me in curses if I miss on a dice roll or something, but no. It, uh, it took all of my blessings away. The possibilities are endless, apparently. Uh, call for a priest. Still don't really have much money. It would be so easy to create a game that merely defeats you. A game in which you stand no chance, also completely unfair. 
That is not how I work. I have no need of your I services. I refuse to play in such a manner. Our game is fair, and you will be defeated fairly. He's getting ranty now, isn't he? So we have another. We went from minstrel to the lonely bard. I tried ignoring them. That didn't work. Maybe I should ask them about the road ahead. I keep thinking it's just going to reveal cards, which is useful, but not necessarily what I expect to be uh, the causer of uh, the token being grabbed. But I've tried everything else, I think, unless I'm forgetting something. It's hard to remember the exact history you've had with each individual card, with so many of them shuffling around, of course. The Lonely Bard. One day, on your travels, you meet a familiar face. The young man who you helped escape town with his beloved. He is sitting under a tree, singing to himself. As you approach, you realize he stinks of ale and is singing uh, is a little too merry. He looks up as you approach. You! Haven't you caused enough sorrow? He stops and uh, to take another sip from a bottle. Thank you. Thanks to you, we escaped the town. He goes on to explain that once you, they were free of their fa fa of his father, uh, her father's pursuit, his beloved ditched him. For that first mercenary we met, if only we'd never left, he continues angrily. Now I must beg for coin and pay for my drink. Ten gold for a song, or have you no pity for fools? I'll do it. It's all my money, though. You throw him a few coins, and he composes himself. He begins to sing. He conjures up a vivid and heartfelt imagery of beauty and innocence, lifting your morale and inspiring you to epic deeds. You get one max health pain card. I mean, max health gain card, and the uh, card's token is now yours. Plus sixty. Oh, yeah, I guess there's that. Extra health. That's not. That's not even as good as fifteen. Damn you, percentages. The song ends, and he drifts into a restless slumber. You continue your journey. Hey, two tokens. Oh, I, do I have the hunk? I've grabbed the hunk of metal twice today, but it's my third run, and I don't remember if it was one of the if one of them was during this run or not. Let's find out. Win this and I mean an old man with dirty robes, but the infidels were strong, and one day their raging raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and supplies, including the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. Yes, I have it. Okay. The king's army never returned uh, after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. Give the, the monk your sample of ore. The monk's eyes widen in surprise, and he exclaims, By the old gods, where did you find that? He looks the metal over carefully. If you're willing to put in the hard work, stranger, together we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spent several days with the old monk. Uh, by day you toil together at the forge, and by night you swap tales of your adventures with a for a share of his food. Eventually, you hold the completed weapon in your hands. Oh my god! Uh, it's a battle hammer. 40 damage. String together consecutive attacks to do massive damage. Left bumper does an explosion. Which costs food. But hey, 40 damage. And, uh, Toka's now ours. Thank you, warrior, for giving this old relic one last chance to prove its worth. Uh, good luck on your journey. So this is my chance to, uh, free up some of the deck, because I can probably remove the hunk of metal now, because that's not useful for anything else in the deck right now, as far as I can remember. And we've finished the Holy Forge. So that also gets removed from the deck, but it might be replaced by new cards. Or maybe just that weapon. Blue's a blessing. Joke's on you. You might have enough food to make it. You look down on your luck. Have a lucky penny. Perhaps it'll bring you good, greater fortune than it did me. I got one gold. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Trial by combat. And sea journey. Those are two opportunities. And I'm about to starve. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the I'm gonna, I'm gonna do trial by combat. Ooh, that's the build-up of the entire Kraken storyline. This is my chance. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. You return to the Kraken Cult. Perhaps if you can prefer, uh, prove yourself in a trial by combat, when, then the Kraken Cult may aid you in some way. Let's enter combat. You descend into the deepest uh, recesses of the earth, surrounded by chanting lizardmen. You enter the area. Oh, that's it? Presumably there will be more uh, stages to this. Oh, here's a new looking environment. 
Oh, it's an itty bitty environment. Whoa. One out of 30. Do I, am I supposed to hit a combo of 30? Combo. Dodge. Oh. I think I might have. To, I, I might be expected to hit a combo of 30 to win, or is that my weapon? Come on. These, these damn shields. They, they, it's really hard to get a combo going if they're just going to periodically block you. Oh. That bash does not break the red attack. Except for the times where sometimes bashing them does break the red attack. Never know for sure. Oh, got stuck on that. Ah! I just gotta keep moving around a lot to keep the combo going. They seem impervious to death. Come on. No! I got so close! My strategy is to roll away, open with the bash to get the shield out of the way, attack a few times. But like, there's just, there's just so much opening for something to go wrong. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Well, I got 40 hit points left. <laughs> That's not a good time. Do I win? For good? Or is there another one? Because I might be in trouble. Oh, it's mine. Okay. You, uh, you honor us and the Kraken with your strength. The Elder Lizard awaits you. Bring her your rarest materials. Oh, maybe I do want that hunk here after all, well, then. I really need to say a hunk of ore, otherwise it can be taken completely differently. <laughs> the token's now mine. No reward at all? Just a little reward? Please? Ah. Uh, damn it. Well, time to start starving to death with no health left, so that's fun. I'm extra doomed if I go to the next floor, so I might as well go over here and see if Sea Journey does anything interesting, because, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna lose 20 health on the next floor, assuming I haven't gotten even more rings since last time. So we're masquerading as a spice merchant. I think I always mess up one of the several steps into this thing, because I'm going through the TSA, basically. Good luck. Yeah! Now we're in sec the second phase of... Customs, you little bastard. A choice. Select nope. Your desire. And so we get let out the same place again. Well, shit. Berserker ring, ring of poverty, merchant's ring, hindsight. That's one where I sell all of my money off. Yeah, I don't have that ring. If I had the ring of if I had the ring where I can sell my blessings, that'd be useful. Wait, I don't have I don't have blessings either, do I? Nope. <laughs> I got a battle hammer, but aside from that, this attempt is a total wash. And is best forgotten at this point. Well, let's just Yeah, just last oh, last in, insult to injury. Take away my only remaining gold, so I I die with all zeros. <laughs> Bye. Again, you come to the final floor. 
A game you challenge my greatest warrior. Apparently that was the last floor already. The game takes another life. Huh. I was surprised to see that I was that, that, that far that time. For reaching the trading post in Deep Forest, you receive 10 food, a trader's ring, wilderness armor. For buying a song from the Lonely Bard, you receive innocence. For working the Holy Forge, you receive draw three, keep one, and forbidden armor. For passing the trial by combat, you receive the Elder Lizard. That lizard is a wizard. One more run. One more attempt. Yep, that's how we're doing it. Well, I get to clean up my deck a little bit now. Again, the great lizard will rebuff you. Elder Lizard. They said to bring your best components. Oh, the Elder Lizard does not have a token. Interesting. I think I need to have my... the hunk of metal for that one. Let's get rid of Cursed Treasure. Screw that card. Holy Forge. Should I get rid of Lonely Bard? Now that we've experienced it. You trade... Uh... 10 gold for 10 hit points. Now that's pretty good, actually. If it'll always work that way, that's pretty good. What else would I like to loan? Is there better things I'd like to s Even, honestly, loan's not bad to have. It's a... At worst case scenario, it's a wasted tile, which is better than some of the other shit I've been dealing with lately. I wish I had a better memory for all the cards, because some of these are really hard to remember exactly what they did. There have been a lot. Giant Eagle could be useful for just jumping forward in the level if I want to get to the ending faster. Maybe I'll put that in there. Just to help me with this. Yeah, Eagle seems useful for this particular run because uh, just walking around gives you uh, pain cards. So if I can skip an entire floor, that, it's bad for me getting all the tokens I'm trying to get, but it's good for me getting past the Lizard King uh, level. If I want to farm for resources, it's best off probably done in a... Not resources. If I want to, I don't know, bait for new encounters, it's probably better to do it literally anywhere besides the uh, Lizard King level, which is just a dickish level in general. Uh, what do I want to put back in? I just don't remember some of these anymore at all. Field of Poppies is, 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 is innocuous enough. We got ourselves a new one. Innocence. Forbidden armor. Wilderness armor. Let's get rid of uh, Mage's Scorn. I don't really care about that one. Still haven't gotten a chance to equip some of these to see what they do. Artifact cooldowns. Slight attack speed and cooldown change. It's not bad. Wait, 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 wait. Eh, yeah, some gold for every fight, and it's gloves, which don't come up very often. The glove- there's not- I don't have a lot of glove slots. Is that my only other glove? Is it literally- is it just fleet- is it just fleet cuffs and assassin's greed? Wow. Yeah, gloves just don't come up much in the game, I guess. Let's see, given these options, I should probably remove one of the armor sets. That's sometimes invulnerability. You occasionally reflect back freaking undead attacks. No, thank you. I don't like dice roll chances of sometimes doing uh, countering undead, or they're just kind of a bummer. All right, deck has been reshuffled. Let's just keep do keep this rolling. That's my fourth attempt today. <laughs> I'm not even- I'm not even- I have not even been recording for an hour, and I'm on my attempt- uh, my fourth attempt. And from them I have built a palace of That's remarkable. A convoluted maze that few will ever reach the end of. Will you be one of them? <laughs> oh, the field of poppies on the first floor. 
take those same cards and reshuffle them. Now I know one of them's the freaking ghost, which is kind of a bummer. Because that ghost will screw me. Alright. Soon we'll get more gold. Blessings are too good for the likes of you. Uh, it's a dice roll, one of, either left or right. One of them is the exit and one of them is a ghost that will hurt me. Damn it. I have, I have no way, I have no idea which one went where. Oh. There we do, there we go. Just health, come on. Okay, that's worse, but still not, li still not max health, it'll come back. Hey, Frostfang, I missed you. you. Sure that's the right approach. Thanks. Please? Oh, thank God. I escaped it. I did it. I did it. I got lucky. Expedition. Press on. Come to think of it, the field of poppies actually saved me cuz the uh I think I think the ghost was in the uh, T junction at first, so I would have it would have been unavoidable, which sucks. Can I I should double check if you can remove that card from your deck. It exclusively does something bad, so I'd want to remove it, but I I don't remember. Is it locked? You're all merely pieces. Because if it's locked, then I can't do anything about it. And I, and since it's a bad thing, I assume it's locked. Because all most most exclusively bad things have always been locked. When it is placed back in the box, does the king understand that he truly rules over nothing? Well, yeah. No monsters today. But can I open it? Don't screw it up, it's only one in four chance of screwing up. But I've done it before. There we go. I lose the motion on a regular basis, but I think that the first time I shuffled, the failure was on top. So then whatever was on top the second time would have been a success. If I was right about that. But I might have been wrong about the failure being where I thought it was. 70 gold! I'm sure you are grateful for that. 85 gold? Dang. Might be able to buy a blessing from a priest? Is that worth going back for? Yeah, there might be something really good there. If nothing else, I can buy some food. Until a, a, a pain card takes away 75% of it or something. Any kill made with an axe grants the player 3 health. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. Ooh. That's a really good one for recovering after bad scenarios. I'm gonna go for it. I actually really like that one. Gods look upon you favorably. Can I afford much food? Ah, so close to being able to five. get five. That's fine. Alright, so we got some more food. And I heal more from heal eating for the rest of the entire run. So now whenever something bad happens to me, I can recover accordingly. Hopefully. We'll see. Tainted. Player cannot sell anything. I worked long and Thanks. hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? Go away, priest. Go away. You've doomed me too many times. This is a bad run for me to try to give you all my stuff. Alright, we'll see how it goes. And making it known. So we're at the Desert of the Damned again. And and I'm once mundane. again opening a coffin. And I didn't curse myself this time, apparently. You cautiously break open the seal, releasing a burst of stale, dusty air. Inside you find some loot. Oh! exclaims the old man. My mistake. That's just a treasure jar. <laughs> hey, I get a game card. Ew! Ew! There's food in it! Ew! No! There are certain contexts in this game. I'm not going to complain because food's really useful, but there are certain contexts in this game where it makes no sense to get food, and the reward should probably specify gold or equipment gain cards, not food gain cards. Because uh, it's nonsensical to get food gain cards. But I'm not bothered by it. Hey, there's our gold for the... Uh... Whoa, Jesus. That, uh, that loan situation paid off, didn't it? All right, floor three, I think. Kind of We're off to a much better start. If I see that damn skeleton card, I'm staying away from that shit. Don't need that in my life. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card tainted by your view of the world and your single-minded purpose. 
the same singularity of purpose that brings you here. Look who's back. It's the King of Plague. Oh, you didn't... You didn't... Ah! You didn't freeze at all! What's the point of Frostfang if you don't freeze? Ah! Teleporting! That dick... That dick didn't freeze at all. Oh! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Okay. 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 He's fast, too. Makes him kind of annoying to fight. Nope. 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 Freeze. I'm gonna kill your friends real quick. Oh, how'd you hit me from there? That seemed exceptionally far away. Come on. Oh! Don't suppose I could just convince you to die. Ah, crap. Counter one character, get hit by the other character. Just die already, please. Nope. Get your multi-attack out of here. There we go. Ow. Also, I accidentally used weapon abilities a few times, getting all excited about having Frostfang again, but of course that cost me food and I shouldn't be doing that and that might be bad for me. Gain food, gain cards. More max health. 10 food. There we go, 15 food. I have 73 gold, 50, uh, 30 food, and more than max, uh, more than my starting health. These are not bad things to have.